Hello and welcome back, everybody. We're getting slowly hypnotized by bird creatures popping down so over and over. Yeah. yeah, you're probably better off for it. Merry Christmas! It's think, the Christmas uh, junkies. I think might be a little, little concerned uh, and sick of voicing these guys. <laughs> the uh, series is coming to an end. That's all, all I can think of right now. And here I was expecting some emotionally charged, he uh, heart-wrenching scene. You shouldn't judge by appearances. Yeah, Maybe Val. These creatures have some sort of deep internal conflict as well. Yeah, Val. Well, we did find out that they have a tragic backstory. Yeah, Val. Miro, Kaku, we need to get out of here. If we stay here too long, we won't be able to go home anymore. M Merry Christmas? What? This place is called the Holiday Star, but it's not just, it's not Christmas, is it? If we don't get out of here, we'll never be able to celebrate Christmas again. Merry Christmas! Shock! Times ten to the six! That's a reference to like a, an old American show or something? Uh, I've uh, heard that expression before. Uh, I suppose that's an expression of surprise. They do appear to be moved. I mean, they're not here anymore, so they have moved. Merry Christmas! That will be bad, really bad. Merry Christmas! Miro and Kaku want to start preparing for next Christmas. Zoom! Hallelujah. The two of them run off into the darkness. That was... a lot easier than Okasa. Uh, there aren't... Uh, they, but there aren't any cracks in the shell. There must still be some someone here. I guess so. I know which one it is. We just went through this plain corridor a little while ago anyway. I already know who we'll find through that door. Someone Eno I can voice. <laughs> Enormous enemy is approaching. Keep your dignity, Nageki. I'm already dead, so I think I'll be safe no matter what, but do be careful, Miss Munction. Come uh, will we ever have a mismunction? And if we do, what sort of horrible mind will she have that will scar the rest of us? <laughs> I don't know. I'd, I'd like a mismunction at some point. I imagine. <laughs> huh? There's no reply. It's just a kitchen. Oh, come on. <laughs> mismunction, watch out. <gasps> what? What? What happened? Nageki slams into me from behind. I go rolling across the floor. Nageki, and I thought you were such a gentleman. <laughs> it's not the time or the place. I'm as surprised as you are. Complain to whoever attached that thing to the ceiling. Uh -huh. A gigantic bear trap is lying on the floor where I stood a moment ago. Did that fall from the ceiling? It appears to have fallen a little more slowly than I calculated. Do not fear. I will use more exact measurements next time. What do you mean, do not fear? You pupilicidal partridge proprietor! And you're supposed to lay bad traps on the ground anyway. Hanging it from the ceiling, really? I swear, kids these days can't do anything right. What the fuck? I was planning to modify it such that it would seize the victim's head and lift it back up to the ceiling. It would help with disagonization, you see. I see you weren't planning to close after all. My neck hurts just thinking about it. <laughs> Fluffy heretic chef! I mean, Dr. Iwamine! Your dark fantasy affections end now. You've noticed too, right? This place isn't normal. We've been shut in. If we stay here for too long, we'll... Enter a persistent vegetative state. What? You mean he already knows? I read a report on a similar phenomena when a number of people shared a dream. 
a few years ago now. I suspect we are under the effects of something not unlike mass hypnosis caused by the eclipse. If that's not the case, you should not be here. Question mark? Well, at least we don't have to explain it to you. Let's escape together, Doctor. No, thank you. Rejected at the speed of light. <laughs> and that's why there's no mismunction. <laughs> that's that was quite that's a little bit. Anyway. Are we more comfortable here then? Kind of hurts. <laughs> oh no. You gotta have some rejection before there's success. <laughs> oh, Part I know. of life. I know. I haven't even been here for half a day. I haven't quite decided yet. Her but didn't you? Is, I hope for her sake she likes go. Uh, that would come with the territory. Uh, but didn't you I say mean, yourself one, she's in for a rough ride. that you're one of those sad people who only love research, Doctor? Your brains will rot and rip out of your ears if you stay in this eternal holiday kingdom with this happy-go-lucky king. It's as you say. If I have my fill of research, I cannot complain. The term vegetative uh, is not entirely accurate. The brain relinquishes control of the body and sinks into a state of pure, unadulterated thought. Is this not so? Um... You're right, I don't know why I'm asking you. It was a stupid thing to do. Yuya did say that our brains were disconnected from our bodies, so... I guess so? Cast away all functions but conscious thoughts. What a pure state of being. It fascinates me. But, but, but... Do you really want to stay in this dream forever, Doctor? Since when were you the dream type? Dreamy type? Dreams are not such rigid things as you seem to think. The activity of the brain is no different while dreaming than while waking. But there isn't anything here to use for your favorite diabolical experiments. No. We cannot be so sure about that. The king of this star seems to have absorbed the knowledge and experiences of all who have washed ashore here and blended them into being capable of conscious action after all. You lost me. Yeah, that was a long, <laughs> longest line in the game, yep. I think. Put it another way, the birds of this star hold within themselves the capability to replay any number of past events. This star is practically overflowing with material for study. Have no worries there. This isn't the sort of thing that happens every day, after all. Since I have a chance to experience it, I want to stay and take advantage of it. Are you really sure about that, sir? No matter what you study, no matter what you discover, you ever, you'll never be able to announce it to the rest of the world. I seek knowledge, and knowledge alone. I am not doing this for someone else's sake or for some earthly goal. Given the chance to engage in unadulterated thought without outside disturbance, I am happy to accept it. Later, bitch. <clears throat> Go on ahead. We have nothing more to talk about. Huh. The shell cracked. Well, it did crack, but it looks a little subpar. Those cracks must be from Mira and Kaku. Probably. Subpar is a good way of describing their character. <laughs> we don't have much time, so we go rescue the others. Please reconsider while we're gone, Doctor. Well, we shall see. <laughs> I'm Santa. <bitch. laughs> This is no time for ho-ho-ho, Fluffetick. I do hope he decides to help us. The infirmary would be awfully lonely without the murderous Fluffetick around. Honestly, maybe it's better he stays here. Nah. Miss Mansion. Yes? 
We've got company. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, greetings, travelers. Jeez, we already set, decided to go home. No one likes a host who tries to lock you in the house and make you stay forever. How many of these vague seafood citizens are there anyway? You all should try talking to the king too. Only a tyrant would try to stop visitors from leaving, right? Have you all been here without that ki with, that, with that king forever? No, we haven't. We are the same as you, eh? So you came from outside? You must have been the same. We were very afraid, and we came here. Afraid? <laughs> Ironically <laughs> enough, we were afraid of being turned into see-through silhouettes of people and being made NPCs in a game where you date birds. Kind of you... unfortunate how that worked out. What you gonna do, eh? Nageki and I wow, had a nice that was awful. time <laughs> coming here on a comfortable train Racist. with a friendly conductor. <laughs> I don't remember being afraid of anything. If you came from outside, you have homes to return to, right? So why are you staying here? Because we don't have to worry about anything. Because there is nothing scary here. Except for the bog beast of Nargal oh, V. Jesus. The king is said The king is all. And all are the king. Yeah, <laughs> appropriate punctuation. Ah, look at that. <laughs> so new guests from away will be the king too. All are the king. So there is nothing scary here. Everyone is together. Let's be together. The king is waiting on his royal throne. But the king. The king glances nervously at Nageki. The king does not want to be friends with that morning dove. You don't have to come. Rather polite of him. <laughs> That's not very nice of you. Well, he was pretty polite about it. Well, concerning the circumstances. You shall stay away. Well, alright then. Mm -hmm. The kings fade into the darkness, leaving their selfish command behind. Wow, Nageki. From the look on his face, I bet the king is changing his royal underwear right about now. He's a bit of a crybaby. I don't think Shut scaring up, him is very hard. <laughs> I do wonder about it, though. Why was he so afraid? Way. Shut up, oh, you! Nageki. The king is way cooler and more <laughs> handsome and has a much better voice than you ever could. <laughs> the migrant said something about that, too. Maybe you're the king's natural enemy. Let's hope so. And those vague citizens turned into the king and disappeared. If what they said is true. Perhaps everyone who stays here ends up turning into the king. That's a bit much. Like, come on. All of this, really, no. and then you... No, please. Don't be ridiculous. What I'm is this, a horror movie? I'm trying to stay logical here, Nineke. <laughs> come on, now. Let's just find a man who lost his name and call him after a strawberry. Yeah. For God's sakes. <laughs> like normal people. Yeah. At least it sounds like he's waiting for us. We've got to go find the others and then teach him a thing or two about international travel laws. Yeah. Yeah. Not much variety in the decor here. I must say, I'm getting a little sick of it. Wonder how things are going on the roof. Oh. Is I, this, guess I guess this, this is, is my internal yeah. monologue here. I can probably trust Mr... Is that one or Oni? Uh, I'm not sure. No, go with one. Ah, uh, Le Leone. Mr. Oni... Leon, rather to keep my body from spontaneously combusting or anything like that. The artistic scientist fellows probably cleared the clouds away. But the king of this place blocked the moonlight. A 
search and rescue mission in a zone of total surreal, eh? This is new even to me. Can't wait to put it. The decorated picture book. So, fucking... I mean, it's his... He's on the, like, the other side of the egg planet right now, going yeah. after other people. This is his journey, but yeah. the book is clearly uh, the fucking pigeon who is all uppity and shit. The rich one. Yeah, uh, Sabia. Once yep. there was a beautiful piano. The piano was decorated with gemstones and all the colors of the rainbow. Oh, how it sparkled and glittered. Everyone thought it was that... Uh, everyone thought it it was beautiful. What a beautiful piano. No one had ever seen such a wonderful piano before. The piano's owner was very pleased and decorated the piano even more. Everyone in all the land praised the piano's beauty. It's no one good from piano. anywhere wanted to hear its voice. But the gemstones were so were heavy, so heavy, and one day they crushed the piano flat. Poor piano. Irony. Poor piano. The end. <laughs> what is this trash? There is no limit to its vulgarity. The composition <laughs> is poor, the story juvenile, and the art messy. <laughs> I open the door. Not that still you. Find a fan tail angrily beating a book on the floor. <laughs> Salutations, Sakuya. I'm glad to see you're still yourself. What? Is there no getting rid of you? What now? The tea party's already over. Is it? That's too bad. I was really looking forward to drinking some of your tea, too. I wouldn't have given you any even if you had showed up on time. Don't get full of yourself, mongrel. I'll, I'll be expecting an invitation card next time, too. Sakuya sticks his beak into the air and coos irritatedly. By the way, what were you reading just now? I pick the book. I pick up the book, which Sakuya, Sakuya had thrown on the floor. I haven't the slightest. Do you remember where you found it? Do not treat me like a child. The king gave it to me. I don't mean to insult a gift of royalty, but... That thing is amazing. It's like the... Oh, <clears throat> Sakuya. <clears throat> it's like the scribbles of a deranged child. A picture book, eh? So, this is a little flirtation from the king. Or rather, an invitation to stay here. I suppose it's meant to paint reality in a poor light, to flatter the world of dreams. Alas, its message appears to have been lost on Sakuya. He is a moron. <laughs> Something is wrong when someone who dresses a musical instrument up like a Christmas tree. Instruments come with their own beauty already built in. Gaudiness is hardly the deciding factor of an instrument's value. Indeed, an instrument covered in sparkly goo to impress uncultured fools is the epitome of crassness. Decorating an instrument to the detriment of its tone is absurd. Ludicrous! If the author of this drivel was here now, I would sit him down and lecture him for three days without break. He continues on, angrily expounding the qualities of musical timber. I wonder if he realizes just how much he cares about music. As his brother, I can only hope to see the magnificent blooming that, of that enthusiasm one day in the real world. Very true. Visual flares hardly what instruments are there for. The piano in here should have used his should have used his own voice to let everyone know that before he got crushed. I wasn't created no, no, to be... <clears throat> I wasn't created to be decorated. Let me see. 
something like that. Why are you smirking like that? What a tasteful cretin you are! I love how thick-headed you are, Sakuya. Oh yeah, it'll save me a lot of trouble. What? What is this? Do you mock me? No, quite the opposite. That was praise. I doubt it! Your ridiculous facial expression is proof of your deceit! That has been my undoing multiple times, by the way. <laughs> ridiculous facial expressions. <clears throat> Forgive me, I was born with it. It's not Maybelline, is what I'm saying. Mm. That's called a reference, ladies and gentlemen. Get not up a token over here. Uh, ref me making references? <laughs> Unheard of. Pure lunacy, I say. <clears throat> what am I to do? It's a living. Now then. I can't spend too much time here. I doubt whoever I run into next will be as easy as you, after all. I knew you didn't wander here by chance. Tell me what is happening. You're always good at things with me. Thanks, Sakuya. You're being a little low, yeah, just being closer to the mic quiet? or something. Yeah, sometimes uh, yeah, with those of us. My bad, my bad. Mm -hmm. Scoot forward a bit here. Okay. Lower the old keyboard. What? You do not jest. It's hard to believe, but unfortunately it's true. You and I are hooked together with a whole pile of electrical wires right now. It's more or less the truth. You can! Without my permission! You weren't exactly being responsive. But... And it's an emergency anyway. Easier to ask forgiveness than approval, right? Ah! Now then, Sakuya. Will you spend eternity having tea here with that cheerful, artistically challenged king? Inconceivable! I will not stand for it! Well, that was easy. <laughs> yep. Just who do you think I am? I am Shirago Shirogane Sakuya Bell. It is completely out of the question. I demand to see the man responsible for this idiocy at once! I shall have a recompense for this gross discourtesy toward me! I like the mosaic. Yeah, as well, I do too. Yeah. Saki runs off in the darkness, an aura of unusual proactivity about him. No one gets the better of my little brother. Now then, who's next? The black and white picture book. Once upon a time, so, they lived. Hold on, hold on. Who's mm -hmm. left? Um, Is he... I think it's you. Like uh, the boyhood friend pigeon. Yeah, him and uh, I think that's the him. guy who who lost his name, who's also a part. I don't. Of the I don't know if he'll show back up. Actually, maybe. Like, maybe he's not, not. He wasn't there when they fell asleep. He might have just been like the thing because we're back. To but why did they so. take the same pigeon for? As representation for him, I don't know. Yeah, no. Well, it's, it's definitely Ryuya or Ryota. That's his name. Yeah, this and one's probably Ryota. Maybe, Ryota. maybe well, it's, it's a penguin. Upon a time, they lived a white dove and a black dove. The white dove loved the sunflower. The black dove loved the sunflower too. What a beautiful sunflower it was! It was a warm and bright. It was warm as warm and bright as the sun itself. The sunflower would go out and play with the doves all day. But one day the sunflower made friends with a star. As and after do. that, the sunflower always went out at night. Without the sunflower as well as the sun to light them, the days became dark. Completely incomprehensible. <laughs> the white dove knew how nice the night, st night star was and became sad and more sad and cried. The black dove thought the night star would it should turn into a shooting star and go disappear somewhere far away. 
Things would be better then. But in the end, both doves froze in the darkness and died. Well, war doves. As you do. War doves. These are kind of macabre stories. Yeah. This one's just as bad as the last one. Not my style at all. What do you? What did you think of it, Kawara Ryota? This is the king. Mm. Oh, fuck! He I completely. He's like camouflaged. Yeah, I love the it. Trees there. Yeah. <clears throat> um, normal voice or evil voice? Up to you. Yeah. Must be hell on your soul. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it is. Uh, <laughs> I never feel it the same day, but tomorrow my throat's going to be shot. Yeah. The king said... And it's only this voice, too, mm -hmm. the real deep one. You have done nothing wrong. You were the one who found the treasure first. The treasure, in case you're really dumb, is Falmunction in this case. <laughs> it was Alexis Yu-Gi-Oh! or whatever we named her yeah. in the last one. That doesn't mean anything. How I feel doesn't matter. Looks like he's more interested in talking to the king. Shoot the king! Pull out your gun and shoot the fucking <laughs> king right now! Shoot him in the dumb king face. Yeah. Either one. That's I guess me. I'm still not charming enough. Pulls out a book, How to Be More Charming. Written by me? Wait! <laughs> <laughs> I should already know this. <laughs> What's that I do? <clears throat> the king said the morning dove is a bad, bad bird. That morning dove wants to steal something precious from the king. And from you. You must know already that the morning dove is an evil. Nageki is a ghost, but he's not evil. I guess he can be scary if you make a mess of the library books, but... The king said that you are afraid of him. Are you not? Because you can tell your greatest treasure will be taken far, far away. If you join the king, you will not be afraid of anything anymore. The evil demon will be gone then. The king is waiting for you. Well done, Token. It also makes me light have it hated. I, oh, I might just fucking go back to the normal voice. <laughs> yeah, it's probably better. After a lot of swarmy babbling, the king disappears. Salutations, oh trouble the young pigeon. Mind if I join you for a bit? Oh. Yuya. So you've ended up here too. I thought it was just us. Well, I wasn't exactly invited. You know how it is. Everyone hates the French. Sorry, got a little wheel there. Yeah. I'm here to rescue you all. Blah, 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 blah. Please decide to bust out of here and come home with me as soon as possible. I like this guy. He gets to the point, you know? I see. So we're all in the same dream after all. So it's not just something I'm imagining all by myself? By all indications, yes. The king there is the host and creator of the charade, and you are all the guests. And I'm crashing the party. Oh shit, still yep. you. <laughs> Everyone dreaming the same dream beneath the starry night sky. No break for token. Very romantic. Sorry, I, I was going to make a crass sex joke, and I was like, nah, I don't. And I was like, wait, the pause has gone on too long. You need to make it to save yourself. And I was like, but no, it wasn't very funny. So, it's okay. are you still caught up in this dream? We love you anyway. I don't. I don't know. 
I don't know what I want anymore. It's very painful. When I wake up, it might just end up even more painful. From what little I saw of the king's uh, solicitations... Uh, ahem, ahem. Oh, From what little I saw of the Sorry. king's solicitations, I can guess pretty easily what he means. And I'm a bit of a specialist in that area. You know by now what it is that's causing you pain, right? I... I haven't done... Talk to me, Ryota. I'm here for you, and I can help you. What's bothering you? What are you afraid of? Oh my god, shut up! <laughs> Once you put it into words, you'll know exactly what you need. That's what I think, anyway. It's why I talk so much all the time. Seems reasonable, doesn't it? At this rate, you'll rot from the inside. Quite literally, at that. Great, be brave, Ryota. I'm... I'm gonna wait for this revelation until the next episode! I'm Thank terrified you. of being voiced by a German man. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. That would be meta. We'll have, uh... I'd be terrified, honestly, but... That, yeah, at that point, <laughs> the game's getting played with some shenanigans here. Uh, but yeah, uh, I would assume for the finale of How to Full Boyfriend Holiday Star, please, uh, ever so, uh, preciously oh, join I us. we got two more. Maybe, like, one or two, I'd say. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you around for that. And, uh, yeah. Bye-bye. Toodle pep.